Hey my creators! Since I released my craft room tour video last week and you guys loved it so much, I thought I would show you how easy all of this furniture was to assemble. You can do it on your own. Here we go! Hey my creators! Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Christy and this is Christy Creates. And if you're not new, welcome back! I'm so glad you guys are joining me today. Today, we are starting on our craft room makeover. Yeah. Which, you've been along with me so far from taking this from boring brown to fun white with our pop of color on the ceiling. We've put down the flooring. I say we. I guess I have a mouse in my pocket. <laughs> Me, myself, and I, we've painted, we, I've painted, I put the floor down, I did my cute little shiplap wall over here, and now our furniture has arrived, so we are going to start unboxing it and assembling it. So for this video, I have partnered with Solder Furniture, and they have been gracious enough to send me some furniture for my craft room and I am going to assemble it for you guys and then we're going to go over all the fun details and I'll show you how I store everything in the products and get it all organized for my crafting and YouTube needs. So let's get started. So the first product that Solder has sent is a, I think it's actually like a wardrobe or something like that. Um, some of the pieces that they sent me are from their craft line and then I also picked a piece or two that wasn't in the craft line but I knew it would give me a lot of storage on a wall and I could close the storage away. You know how that goes. Let's close the mess away and pretend it's not there. Right guys? <laughs> so I did pick one or two pieces that are like that. Um, we're also going to do a craft tower which spins on a swivel. Um, we've got a hutch and a desk and another fun little island. So I'm hoping that all of this, I'm gonna put furniture around the perimeter of the room and then I'm hoping right here about where I'm standing to do kind of like an island craft table if I have enough room. If not, it will go, you know, scoot it over against the wall, but I will still utilize it as like I would an island. It will be my overflow craft space. <laughs> so I plan on putting my actual YouTube filming table back in this corner by that window so that I have a lot of good light. And then on the wall that is behind what you're seeing now will be some of the bigger furniture pieces. And then right here by this window, probably my other desk, which I will do my intros and my outros. And anytime that I'm sitting talking to you in front of the camera, that's where I will be for the most part, unless it's like a field trip day. <laughs> so, all right, let's go drag some of these pieces in. I am going to have to bring them in out of the box just because they're too heavy and I cannot lift them by myself and my husband's not here right now. So I will bring the pieces in and kind of lay them out and then we will look at the instructions. I will kind of let you know how hard or easy it was to assemble, um, you know, that everything went together relatively easily and that you can do it on your own because you can do whatever you want, girlfriend or boyfriend. So let's get started. All right, so I've got all of the pieces pulled out. So we are going to be making this piece here, which is called a storage cabinet. The model number is 420-495. And that's what it's going to look like when we get done. God willing. <laughs> so I'm gonna go pull my hair back and we are going to get started. Okay. Hair is pulled back. Now it says assembly tools required. So it comes with this little book that kind of tells you all of your instructions. We're gonna need a hammer. Of course, a pink one just for good measure. 
you know me. <laughs> a pencil, a screwdriver, and also a drill, which I have over there. I just couldn't hold it all at once, so. Um, we are going to flip through. It shows you all the things that should be in the package, which I have made sure that everything is here. Gives you a breakdown of all of the hardware included. And we are going to start at step one. Sorry if you hear little feet on my floor. My dog is in here with me, so she's like ding, 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 ding. So you hear her jingling and she's checking it out because she has only been here one or two other times and she wasn't like actually hanging out. It was just a quick in and out. So today she's actually getting to hang out, so she's excited. So I'm going to get started and we will speed this along. I will not make you watch the entire thing, but I will go ahead and get started, kind of speed it up a little bit. And then every once in a while, I'll break back in and show you, you know, once I've got a little bit more done and then I'll show you some more. And that way you can see that I'm actually doing the work and it's not that hard. So here we go. I thought I'd also quickly show you that each piece is labeled easy to see. So you've got O, P, and Q. And that's all you have to look for is your sticker to find what piece you need. And it says on your paperwork exactly what piece you need. Once you find it, you know you're doing something right. We hope. <laughs> I thought I would leave this portion in because JWoww, my little doggy, decided to make a cameo when she wanted to look out the window. Just hopping back in for a second, fixing to put a couple of these pieces together so it can start actually making a piece of furniture. I just thought I would say, like, I love their instruction booklet, you guys. Um, for instance, it breaks down literally each step so you don't get overwhelmed. Like, it's step one, you do this one thing, that's it. And then you go to the next page. And see, like, I get overwhelmed really easy, so this for me is perfect. Step two, one thing. And then they give you little tips like, remember, lefty-loosey, righty-tighty. Like, some people need to be reminded of that. Me. And by the way, don't judge my nails. You guys know I always have my nails done during a move and a craft room renovation. Not happening. But anyways, I just thought I would show you guys that because it's really easy. It takes you up close with the picture and like tells you like, hey, super simple. Break it down one step per page. Large picture so you can see what's going on. Everything is numbered so you know exactly what to grab. So. I love that. Keep it up, Solder. Guys, I finished it. Dun, da, da, da. So let me flip it around here and show you. 
So we've got our little doors. And of course, this one wasn't one of the craft lines, so it is actually a wardrobe. So it has a hanging rod in here, which I may utilize for some of my Dollar Tree signs or something like that. Um, I like that this portion is taller, so I can put maybe like my square dowels because I do keep quite a few of those. Anything that's longer, you know, if you had a mop handle or any of that, you could put in here. You could also like put some Rubbermaid totes or something in there as well. This side has some shelves and this shelf here is adjustable so you can move the pegs around and change that if you want. And then of course you have your drawers in the bottom that open up. And it's so cute. Oh, I didn't get that all the way shut. And you know, it has all these nice little moldings on the side. What do you guys think? I can't wait to show you this once I get all of my craft room done. And here's what it looks like now that I have it all decorated and in my room. Okay, let's get on to project number two. So, this one, we are making a craft table. It's kind of a double-sided desk. It would work great for crafting on. It would work great. What I'm going to use it for is, so I told you guys that one side of my desk I'm going to be using for intros and outros and my makeup videos on my new makeup channel. And the other side I will probably use as my Cricut station. So I like keeping one area of my craft room clean just for my Cricut so that if I'm working on a YouTube video or a different craft or I'm making somebody a gift, I like to be able to get to my Cricut because I do use it almost on a daily basis. So one side of this desk, since it's two-sided, will be used for my Cricut station the other side for like editing, filming intros and outros, my makeup videos, etc. So this is what our end product will look like. So it, it looks like this on both sides. It's kind of mirrored on both sides so you can scoot a chair up under both sides. It has drawers on both sides. So let's get started. So I was just noticing that this book is just like the last one. You've got your hardware identification page. So it just kind of breaks down everything that should be in your package. And on this one, it's literally all connected together. So you've got all of it right here in one spot. And this desk, it looks like even comes with a plug so that you can plug in your computer, your phone, whatever whatever floats your boat. So, and this one is just like the other book as well where you won't get overwhelmed because you've got one step on each page. So just do it one step at a time and you will get there. It also, and I didn't notice this in the last one, but it may have said this, I just didn't pay close enough attention. Any of the pages that have this little icon right here, it says that means there is a video assembly tip available for you. And it gives you the website you can go to find that tip. So, for real, let's get started this time. So when any of y'all are assembling furniture, do you feel like this? I mean, I do sometimes. But it's actually been relatively easy. So, I will say I have done it 100% by myself, so you can do it too.
would show you guys this because this is a perfect step in making your furniture. Make nachos optional but recommended. Could somebody please bring me some nachos? Please. Pretty please. All right, we've got it all done. Now, I do not have all of my flooring down yet. I had to order another box and it was a special order. So, when I spin you around to show you the desk, don't judge. So, we will have it in though in the next week. So, um, all right, here it goes. What do you think? So we have drawers that pull open that you can also use as a filing cabinet. It's got the little ledge there. So we have that and we've got our little shelves. You guys, how cute. Isn't it so cute? And I love that you can work from both sides. What do you think? And here's the final reveal. What do you guys think? Up next on our list of items, this is called the Craft Tower. And it looks like this, and it's on a swivel base so that you can spin it around. So it has some drawers, it has some cubbies, it has a pegboard and a, like a, cork board, like thumbtack board, <laughs> like brain fart, sorry. So we are gonna get all of our pieces ready and get this started. So I just thought I would share one of their little snippets of info. It says, just think, the sooner you do this, the sooner you do something else. So think on that for a minute. I love their little like notes that they write you in here. I just think it's so cute. So I'm working on this. I'm trying not to make you guys like have to watch the entire thing. You know, the little things where I'm having to put the little, um, what are those called? Cam screws, I think. No, hidden cams. You basically just kind of stick them in the hole and that way here in a little bit when we put these other pieces in, then you tighten them up and it like pulls it together. But it's just a lot of like putting this there. So I'll be back in a minute. And I thought I would leave this in here so you could laugh at me and not with me. This is my thinking face. <laughs> This ended up being one of my favorite pieces in the room. So tell me what you think about it. On to the next piece. So the next one is called a work table. And this I'm going to use in the center of the room like a little island so that I will have just extra crafting space you know, because we always need extra crafting space, right guys? Am I right? You know I'm right. And there's the piece we just made. And I will show you that up close in a little bit.
Don't worry, it isn't Rome. This can be built in a day. They weren't mine. Every spot that I'm putting one of these wooden dowels, I'm putting a little bit of the glue that they include. And here I'm making sure that you can see that the drawer goes through to both sides of the table. I love that you can access it from both sides. And then I will show you the final reveal. I love that there is 12 cubbies. It gives so much storage. Okay, we are gonna get started on our next project. This one we are making, it is called Just a Hutch and it is going to sit on the end of the desk that we made. So let's get started. Short screwdriver. Itty bitty screwdriver. They weren't lying. What do you think? I'll have to have my husband help me adjust these um, hinges just a hair, just so that they will come a little bit closer here in the center. But hey, not too shabby for doing it by myself, right? So this piece I'm actually going to put on the end of this desk. So once you see the craft room tour, that's where it will be, down there. So I will have some extra storage at my desk space. And then I also have this awesome little pegboard. So I've got this pegboard and the pegboard on the craft tower. And I can't wait to show you guys everything all set up and ready to go. Bye. I did end up buying another cabinet, which is that lower portion from solder because I loved that piece and it gave so much more storage so I didn't show that in this video, but I did add that piece. Make sure that you go check out my craft room tour video and that way you can see everything that I included in my craft room. You can see my filming area and all of that. And thank you guys so much for watching today. Make sure that you leave me a comment down below and give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.